So what you're gonna need to do this is an 18 millimeter wrench. This is a nice ratcheting one that I found on Amazon. It's adjustable ratcheting one and I'll leave a link to in the description for this little guy. You're also gonna need something to cut the existing zip tie, a replacement zip tie for the little uh, motor plug. And then you're gonna need a four millimeter Allen wrench. I just use the one off my multi-tool and I'll leave links in the description for all of these things. Another thing I highly recommend is getting yourself a repair stand for your for home use. This is the Park Tool PCS 9.3. It's the one I use in all my videos. Uh, it's super stable and can hold an e-bike really well. And I'll leave a link in the description below for this guy. The first thing you want to do is find the little zip tie that's holding the motor cable and go ahead and clip that and take it out. Here. And then just unplug the motor, pop that little guy out. And then there's a four millimeter Allen bolt that's right in here. Go ahead and take that out. So take this little bolt out and just set it aside. Then over here on the other side of the bike, there's another four millimeter bolt right there. So take that, go ahead and take that bolt out too. And just pop that little bolt out and set it aside. And then while you're on this side too, you can take this little plastic plug off. So this little guy right here and just set that aside. And then we can go ahead and grab our ratcheting wrench here. And we can loosen up this bolt a little. You don't have to take this all the way off. Just, just loosen it up a little bit. And then before taking this side off here, we do want to make sure that this is shifted into the highest gear so that the chain is on the smallest ring in the back. And then back on this side, we want to kind of slide this little rubber plug that's covering the axle nut. Just slide that off so you can get to this axle nut. And then we're going to take our eight millimeter wrench again. And you want to hold the wheel up with your hand and loosen this guy, this 18 millimeter. And you need to loosen this one up quite a bit. And once it gets loose enough, you can actually slide this little cage protector right off and set that aside. And then just kind of gently jiggle the wheel and push back on the derailleur so it comes out and you'll need to feed the chain around the cord here. And sometimes these wheels are in these really, really tight. So you may need to actually kind of bang on the nut a little bit to bang this wheel out if, uh, if this thing's gripping it really tight. And then you have your wheel off. And then over here on the wheel, I just wanted to show you. So here's how the axle's set up. So there's this slotted spacer that goes in first, and this is on the disc brake side. And then there's these little safety washers that have the hole in. These are what we removed that four millimeter Allen bolt. So there, that goes on the outside. And then on this side here too, there's this smaller spacer that's inside here. And then that safety washer with the eyelet in it that goes on the outside. So this little small spacer needs to go on the inside. So the bike's going to be going right in between here is where we're sliding this back onto the dropout and same on this side. And you'll see that this axle is actually kind of squared off on two sides. So when you spin it, these safety washers move. So we want to set it so that both of the safety washers are pointing back up because we want these holes to line up right where the holes on the bike are that we put the four millimeter Allen bolts back into. So make sure that spacer's on the inside, that's on the outside. Make sure that one's on the inside and then the safety washers on the outside. And then just point these safety washers so that they're pointing up. And it makes it a lot easier to get this wheel back in the bike.
So you can see right here on a close up of the frame, this is the hole that's right above the dropout. And that's what we want to align those safety washers in so that they're just pointing up and slightly back. And we'll slot the wheel in just so that the safety washer hole lines up with this hole right here. And it'll automatically line up with the hole on the other side. So go ahead and grab your wheel and then find these little safety washers so that they're pointing slightly up and back. And then this hole is going to line up with that hole on the frame. And then just gently slide it through. And then we want to work the chain around the entire motor cable. And then we want to line up this top pulley with the smallest gear on here. And then once that's kind of lined up, we're working this in, keeping these safety washers so that they're pointing in the direction of this hole right here. And then on the other side, you need to make sure that the disc rotor is going in to the disc brake. And this is definitely the hardest part of working on these bikes is getting this wheel back in. It's not an easy task. So you may need to loosen up these washers quite a bit to give yourself plenty of room to get the axle back in. Same on the other side over here. And then once these are kind of lined up back in so you can see the hole, go ahead and take this derailleur cage protector and we're going to slot that guy back in. And there's actually a little spacer in here. So you kind of want to go between the spacer, between the spacer and the nut with this this little guy right here. And then on this other side over here, you can kind of hand tight the nut down a ways and then sort of hand tight this nut down a ways. And I'm holding the wheel up into the frame the whole time because we don't want it to slip back out and go that way. And then once you have these axle nuts, just kind of finger tight. Then you want to go ahead and grab one of your four millimeter Allen bolts and get that started back in here. And you can just kind of start it by hand if you need to use the tool. So just kind of get this little four millimeter Allen bolt mostly in, I'd still leave it a little loose. And then we want to grab the other one and we're going to do the same on the other side. So now I'm on the other side and get that four millimeter bolt started. And you're still holding the wheel into the frame this whole time. So now I'm just tightening the four millimeter Allen bolts on this side. And once this one's in, you can actually make these pretty snug. So keep that wheel tight into there and then snug these Allen wrench bolts all the way down. And once those are both tight on both sides, uh, then you can let go of the wheel. It's in there. But now we want to grab our 18 millimeter wrench and we're going to tighten the axle nuts on both sides. And we still want to pull the wheel up into the frame as tight as we can. And just go ahead and tighten these guys down. And this little, little uh, cage right here is going to spin as you do this. We can straighten it out towards the end. 
and make sure that this uh, protector cage is pushed all the way down to it may want to work itself back up. So double check to make sure that's all the way down and then just kind of straighten it out. And then you can kind of hold it with your hand and tighten this the rest of the way until that axle bolt is really nice and snug. And this derailleur cage is just kind of pointing straight down. And then we just want to tighten up the bolt on the other side. And then our wheels all back in. And every time that you take the wheel off and put it back in, you're going to probably need to readjust the brake on the other side. These never go quite back in perfect. So I have a whole video on how you can adjust these brakes. I'll leave a link in the description below. So once the wheels this far in, go ahead and reconnect the motor cable and you're looking for the little plus symbol on it. And then on this side, there's another plus symbol. So just point the two pluses toward each other and pop that back in. And then we want to grab our zip tie that we have. And you'll see on the frame, there's this little zip tie mount. So we're just going to run that zip tie through there. And we want to zip tie all, all the cables, the light and the motor and the shift kind of all together. They don't have to be crazy snug, just snug enough. And then just cut off the axis. And then you can see this little plastic piece right here can slide back over the axle nut. And then there's the little other one on the other side. So this one can go on the axle nut on the other side. And then you're all set. And then just feel free to check out the video I have about adjusting the brake. It's good to get familiar with how to adjust this brake back in here. And if you like this video and found it useful, please give it a like. And if you like more information on how you can work on your own bike, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep adding videos like this all the time. And I've got a playlist right over there that goes over a whole bunch of different repairs that you can do on your bike. And I keep adding to it um, weekly. See you on the next one.